another way to start the day, guys. Epic morning, surface spot on, and all my mates out with me as well. There is just no better way to kick things off. But it is Thursday. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing really well out there. Huge episode, trip to the thrift. You, me, four op shops. Hopefully, we can find some really cool items to sell on eBay. If you're here for the first time, I am a full-time online reseller. I sell on eBay. I sell on Facebook Marketplace. I have a whole heap of fun doing it. And I document my journey right here on YouTube with three new videos every single week. So if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And if you get any value out of today's episode, hit that like button as well. It's a great way to support the channel, and I cannot thank you enough. It's 9 a.m. I really want to get into the first one, and I really want to kick things off. And hopefully, we can find some really cool stuff to purchase in the first one. So we're just around the corner. Let's see what we can get. guys off shop number one all done and dusted and to be honest not too bad of a start to start the day I, i'll kick things off with the halo books i found a stack of halo books there was all different sort of kinds and i ended up i grabbed this encyclopedia now this one was going for about 50 dollars, so i couldn't say no to this uh this is just an awesome book there was some really good comps in there multiple comps in there that were telling me i should buy this i've paid just five dollars for it so couldn't say no to that um, I also found a Chronicles of Narnia book as well. So this one, again, another hardcover book. It's gonna be a little bit to post, no doubt about it, but I still thought for a $5 investment, this was going for around the $50 mark as well. So two really good books, both in the $50 price points. There is money to be made in books, guys. Do keep an eye out for them. So I was happy to get my hands on that. Um, a couple of other Halo books that I think will go on to sell well. Believe it or not, guys, I've actually forked out $3 each for these books. So I have paid up for them, but I do think the gaming books are good ones to get your hands on. There's a few comic books in here, and I think there's a couple of strategy books uh, as well. So sort of anything Halo, I think goes on to sell pretty well. I've been able to find Halo Bloodline and Halo Helljumper, two books. And I'll put the comps up here to let you know how much they go for. So there was one there. Now this is a hardcover, which is good stuff. $3 for this one. Should make me, I think it was about $35. And then this one as well, Hell Jumper as well. So a couple of really cool, um, I think, I believe they're strategy books from memory. Um, oh no, they are, they are comic books. So as you can see there, comic books. So I've actually bought six comic books in the Halo range all up. This was a series, volumes one to four of Escalation. Um, so this book here, there were just four in the exact same series. They were comic books. I have paid $12. I'm going to be putting them up for 40. So I figured putting them up for 40 bucks, trying to make a, a $25 profit, I think it's definitely worth the buy. The Halo books just do seem to sell pretty well. So I did grab that. Uh, and I also found a cassette tape as well. Nice little winner here. Elvis, um, what was it? Moody Blue. Elvis Moody Blue cassette tape. This one goes for $15 on eBay. I've paid just a dollar for it. Well worth grabbing. If you do see the really big artists in the old, old style cassette tapes, they do go on to sell for a couple of dollars. So one into 15, that's a really good profit. I'm very, very happy to get my hands on that. Um, only a few pieces of clothing. I did have a look in the shoes. There was no winners in the shoes, unfortunately, in that op shop. Hopefully a little bit later on the day, we can find a few more because I do need some. Um, but I found a t-shirt, a polo shirt, a golfing polo shirt. Now this brand is a good one to get your hands on. It is tailor made. I'll show you the brand here. Do look out for this one, guys. It's one of the premium golfing brands out there. This one is an adult size small though. So I'm a little bit concerned by that because I generally only like to buy medium, large, extra large, or even you know 2XL, 3XL. But the smalls I generally stay away from. But this was such a quality brand. I only paid $5 for it. It is in very, very good condition. And I do think that I can turn it into about 25 bucks. So, you know, $15, $20 profit, pretty good for a single item of clothing. 
This one will make me more than a 15 to 20 dollar profit, that's for sure. This was the Newcastle Knights jumper. Have a look at that. And not only that, in the sleeve, it's got your commemoration 25 years badge as well. So that was just a really cool find. I've paid eight dollars for this. It's a men's size large, but it's just got some really cool patterning on it. Uh, really nice big block style on the front. Uh, and then there's a little patch there as well on the hood. So this was just sick. I absolutely love it. It feels really nice and warm as well. So I'm gonna go 50 bucks on this one. Um, I only paid eight. So there's gonna be some really good profit made on that one. Um, oh, and one other, it was just this Hawaii 5.0 t-shirt that I picked up as well. I, th I, I just thought that was really cool. I only paid a couple of dollars. I think it was $3. Um, it says Bookham Dano on the back as well. So I thought that was really cool. It should sell. I'm thinking about 20 bucks, but I only paid, I think $3. Um, that one's a 2XL as well. So that was everything. Three pieces of clothing, uh, quite a few books and a cassette tape. Not an all time great run there of shop number one, but I really do think this day is gonna build. I think two, three, and four, we're gonna come up with the goods. So let's push on, off shot number two. I'm feeling good about it. So the music guys, a massive op shop number two all wrapped up and what an absolute find these DVDs have proved to be. I walked in, I saw a manager's special for $2 each and normally I would pass on $2 for just some random DVDs but I had to have a look into these ones because they were brand new sealed DVDs. Now you're always gonna get more when you put them on eBay, brand new and sealed. But it was just a matter of sifting through, working out what price I could actually get it down to, to work out to be a worthwhile deal. And I've gone up to the checkout and I've said to the lady, there are 88 DVDs here, the entire tub. I said, how much would you take for me to buy them all? Now, at $2 each, 88 DVDs, that's basically $180 worth of value. And she said to me $60. She said, you can have them for 60 bucks. Now that works out to about 70 cents a DVD and they're brand new sealed DVDs. I couldn't say no, I bought them all. I have got 88 DVDs brand new sealed. And if you have a look here, I'll pull it up for you to have a look at. We've got a lot of duplicates. If you can have a look there, I've grouped them all. So we've got a lot of duplicates. You've got Ocean's 8, you've got the Earn Returns, uh, Creed 2, Mile 22. Uh, you've got the Hobbit in there. Uh, there's a lot of like Beauty and the Beast and uh, Lady and the Tramp and the Lion King, a lot of Disney type stuff in here. Uh, you've got a heap of like four movie collection Barbie uh, DVDs that go for about $20. Uh, and then you've got the Kardashians as well. There's about, I think there's about eight different seasons of the Kardashians. And I'll be putting up a heap of comps here. There's so many there that I'll put up a heap of the good ones to let you know. I haven't yet found any that are worth over $20. But remember, I'm paying 70 cents per DVD. So even if these 88 went for $10, that's $880 worth of value, and I've paid 60. If they can go for a little more than $10, we're pushing the $1,000 worth of value on this DVD haul. And when they're brand new sealed, they generally sell a little bit better and a little bit quicker. So 
I think that this is a really good purchase. And I'm absolutely shocked that she said from $180, you can have it for 60 bucks. It's just a ripping deal. Um, so I've got a lot of DVDs to list, but I'm very happy about it because it's an easy process. I'm 60 in and I'm potential to make about $800 here. So huge find on the DVDs. Um, had a bit, of, uh, a bit more of a look around for some clothing as well. And I found this vintage Brooks uh, running. Now Brooks is a really good shoe brand, but uh, I found this vintage jumper that was quite cool actually. Um, long sleever, had some really nice old vintage pattern to it as well. I think I paid $8 for this one. It's a size medium. Uh, this one was just really, really cool. So I've, I've gone ahead and I've picked this one up. Um, that was just a really great find. I've also found uh, the Vans shorts as well. Now these Vans shorts were a size 32 waist. Uh, really nice color pattern as well. I think these are gonna go pretty quick. The Vans brand goes pretty well. Uh, I found two G-Star t-shirts as well. G-Star's a very good brand. These are generally a little bit smaller than what they say. So this is a size medium, but it's probably more like a size small. Um, but I found two t-shirts exactly the same pattern um, as well. So again, a couple of dollars for those. And then the brand Thrills is a good one as well. Found a Thrills t-shirt. Uh, so I've grabbed this as well for a couple of bucks. And I think that's gonna go on to sell pretty well as well. So a few there, a couple of t-shirts. I also found a couple of pairs of shoes as well. They were these ASICS um, shoes. Now I love my ASICS, the ASICS running shoes. These are a US size seven. I generally like to get size eight and up. So I'm taking a bit of a punt here with these ones that are size seven, uh, but they are the Gel Venture fours. So hopefully some comps tell me uh, that they're pretty good. The soles are pretty good on, on them as well. Uh, and then I bought a pair of shoes that I've never bought before. They were the uh, Nike Women's US eight and a half gold golf shoes. Now, this is a first for me. I've never bought any golf shoes. I'm going to give these a go. I figure the Nike brand is probably going to do me some favors and I've only paid $7 for these. So seven bucks in, I reckon I'm going to turn that into about $35 to $40 pretty comfortably, I would imagine. Uh, so that was, that was everything. Uh, 88 DVDs bought for 70 cents each, uh, a jumper, a pair of boardies, a couple of tops and two pairs of shoes. So Huge car up there in op shop number two. Thrilled to get the result there. That's a lot of listing, but I think there's gonna be some pretty good turnaround with some pretty good profit. Um, I'm absolutely stoked. We're kicking things off very, very nicely. We're gonna move on to op shop number three and hopefully we can find some awesome stuff in there as well. shop number three all finished up guys and look there wasn't a hell of a lot in this one unfortunately I'm, i wish i could have brought you a really good op shop number three but it's just not been the case i sifted and sifted and i just couldn't find too much good stuff and that's sometimes the way it works when it comes to op shopping you've just got to hope for the best every time but sometimes you just don't come away with what you're wanting uh, i did find this though which was quite cool have a look at that T tyson versus jordan T. Now this is a size large, it's grey, it's just got the front panel only. Um, this one I thought was quite cool, I've only paid $4 for it. The brand I personally haven't heard of before, I don't think it's going to comp too well from a brand perspective, but maybe Jordan vs Tyson, um, that might go alright. There's the brand, SPCLDLVY. So, not 100% sure, I've never seen that brand before. I thought I'd pick it up purely just based on the fact that there are two sporting greats on the front of that shirt, so I couldn't say no. I found an ACDC t-shirt, 
Um, this one's got a 2019 tag, so there's no real, you know, I don't think there's too much money in this one. I might aim for 20 bucks, we'll see how we go. I think I paid three or four dollars from memory on that one. Uh, I also found, um, oh, this one was actually comping quite well out of the t-shirts. It was the Child of Boat and Band Tea, so I thought that was really good. It's got the Fruit of the Loom um, tag on it as well. It's a size medium, um, you'll see on the tag there. So I thought with the tag being Fruit of the Loom, I thought I'd um, pick this one up. I think it goes for about 25 to 30 bucks. So happy days there. And then this one was a very cheap get, just a cricket singlet. Uh, it's genuine, a Cricket Australia singlet. It's got the ASICs branding. Um, so yeah, that was kind of cool as well. Um, Australian singlet, paid $3, might turn it into 15. Small win, but maybe Facebook Marketplace to get all your, all your profit. Um, a few of the DVDs. Now, with the DVD haul that we just had, I bought a heap, as you know. Um, there were a lot of Kim Kardashian um, DVDs in here, and I've been able to find a couple of Keeping with the Kardashians that I didn't have out of that original haul. And that's just gonna help me when I come to bundle these up. Um, I've been able to find season four, and I've been able to find season three of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Now, I've got seasons one and two, so with these two, I think I'm now up to the first seven seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It's only gonna help me when I come to bundle them up. Now, they are used, I did pay $2 each for these, so that is $4 in on a couple of DVDs there, but for the sake of the bundle, I reckon I'm gonna go okay. Uh, I found seasons one and two as well of Chloe and Lamar. So, I think these ones here, I think that one was about $10, and this one, season two, was about $15. So, we're talking 25 bucks there, buy it now. I might do a 25 free postage situation. I've paid $4. So there's going to be a couple of dollars in that. And then another one on the Kardashian clan. I don't ever watch this, but um, I know that it sells well on eBay. Uh, Courtney and Kim Take Miami, season three. Courtney and Chloe, Courtney and Chloe Take Miami's. So there's a few different ones there. I've paid $2 each. I don't know how they're going to go, but I thought I'd pick them up. Uh, the DVDs generally go for around the $10 to $15 when you're talking the Kardashians. So... Uh, in the end, I paid, I paid two dollars each, and I bought seven DVDs. So I spent fourteen dollars on DVDs, and I spent about fifteen dollars on clothing. So twenty nine dollars spent in there for op shop number three. Like I said, it wasn't the best op shop run. I did spend a bit of time in there hunting away, but we do have one more, and hopefully we can finish the day with a bang. Because I really always love to finish this episode finding some awesome items in the last op shop. I want to bring you that. Fingers crossed. I'll spend a bit of time. We'll see what we can come up with. Let's move it. Op shop number four. Guys, a little bit spent in that last op shop. Bit of variety too for you. It's a good one to finish on. Um, spent $48 in this one. I saw those Yu-Gi-Oh VHS tapes. That was a cool little find. Now, the comps on these, first of all, just a very cool TV show. Awesome to find it in a VHS tape. Uh, there was a comp for 11 of these. They did sell for $70. 
and I've got seven of them. So my thoughts are, I think if I can get $50 for this, I'd be very, very happy. Um, there are seven, they are all in good condition from the looks of it. Um, and there they are there. So there's a couple of sort of um, seasons that line up pretty well. I think there's six, seven, eight, and nine. And then I think season one as well. So I'll just sell it as a group of four VHS tapes. I'll sell them for $50. We'll see how we go. It was nice to see that there was a comp already in there for about 70 for 11. So um, look, no guarantees with that one, but for $12, I thought that was certainly worth a gamble. Um, I think it will probably pay off pretty well. Um, in the shoes, there are a couple of really good pairs of shoes. I've been a bit light on in my shoe sourcing today, to be honest. I, I really thought I'd find a few more, but certainly not the case. These were the Gel Rocket Asics. Now, I believe these are netball shoes. They are in very, very good condition, and I've paid $6 for these. So just a ripping find. I've, I've spent 48 for the entire haul here, but I really do think that I'll probably make the entire 48 back just on this pair alone. Um, they'll probably go for about $60, I'd say, because the soles are really, really good. Netball season's just about to start, so I, I think they're going to be a really quick mover. The Gel Rockets, um, really cool find. These are going to need some cleaning, but don't get me wrong, they are still a great pair of footy boots. Um, they are the Copers, uh, the Adidas Copa uh, footy boots. Now, I think these cost me $8. There was no sort of ticket on it, but I've just had a look at the receipt, and I think they were 8 bucks. So I've got to give them a really good clean, no doubt about it. I've got, you know, The studs are pretty good on the bottom. There's not too much wear there, but I really do think these sort of footy boots, again, coming into the footy season, they're probably going to go for about $40 to $50 once I've given them a really good scrub. But there they are there, the Copers. Um, hopefully the comps are, uh, are telling you what they're worth. Um, I also found a pair of rollerblades. Now, I've been, oh, geez, rollerblades are such a great one to get your hands on. If you can find them, um, or even if you can source them on Facebook Marketplace, I highly encourage it, because whenever I've come across them, I've seemed to sell them. Now, these are just a really flashy pair. Granted, they don't have the laces, and I'm gonna have to go and buy those, um, but these are just a really cool pair, a uh, really cool set of rollerblades. I've paid $10 for these. Um, they're the Frozen, um, so it's uh, Elsa and Anna from Frozen. So a little girl out there is absolutely gonna, ah, absolutely gonna, absolutely gonna love these. And um, for $10, I really do think I can turn it into 50 bucks. It is a size 13 junior. So pair of Frozen uh, rollerblades, that is just really, really cool. Happy to find that. And then I found two pieces of clothing to end this day, guys. The first one was a vintage Brisbane Lions uh, polo shirt. Now, purely for the fact that this was uh, a vintage logo, I had to pick this one up, a plain gray. But again, coming into the footy season, this one should do well. It's got the old tag on it. It's an extra large. I really do think I'm gonna get 20 bucks plus postage for this one. I've only paid $5, so had to grab that one. And then I paid $8 for these, but this was a very cool pair. It was a pair of track pants. As you can see there, it's a pair of gray Nike track pants, but it's got Nike FC on the leg as well, which I thought was a very cool feature. Um, it's also got the, um, the metal zip as well on the ankle, as you can see there, running up there. And then on the back, it's a drawstring as well, elastic waist, and then on the back, it had the authentic Nike FC logo. So it was a lot, this is a quality pair of tracksuit pants and yes, they are in used condition. Yes, they cost me $8. But again, I think I can turn this into about 25 to 30 bucks plus postage. So I think this is one is a pretty good get and um, another piece of clothing as well. Winter obviously coming up. So I'm really trying to think about what is ahead as to what will sell well. A um, couple of really good finds there in the clothing items. Um, so that was it guys. There are firstly a lot of DVDs out of today to go back and list, plus the VHS tapes that we've picked up. Um, well over a thousand dollars worth of value from this haul today. And when you add it all up, I think I've roughly spent about maybe 200, 250 dollars at most. So, you know, we're talking probably twelve hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars in profit from this haul today. And Really, that's why I do these trips to the thrift videos. I started this day at nine o'clock when the shops opened. It is now 1.30. So I've been moving for four and a half hours. I haven't had a break, but in four and a half hours, I've been able to find a thousand dollars worth of profit to sit on my eBay store and hopefully turn around with some really quick sales. So. There are so many opportunities out there, guys. If you did this just purely on a Saturday alone and you spent four or five hours, you have a working week Monday to Friday, but every single Saturday you went out to the op shops, I swear 
five or six hours worth of sourcing, sort of stuff like this that you've seen here today, you can make yourself a thousand bucks. And yes, it will take time. It, it, yes, there's a longevity in how long it takes to sell for you to get that thousand dollars. But that's what eBay is. You've just got to keep listing away, keep putting more into the system, and then it will feed back to you and you will get your sales results. But I'm really happy with the haul today. I've got a lot of listing to go back home and do. So I do thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed any single part of it, um, do leave a like and uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what have you sourced this week? What item have you been able to pick up in the op shop that you're going to turn into some really good dollars? I'd love to hear it. Love communicating with you guys in the comments below. So that'll do it for today, guys. I've got a lot to get back home and get into. A lot of listening to get into. But it's been a really fun episode today. Look forward to catching you in the next one. We'll see you soon.